What is up guys, it's Killamoth here, and today we're going to be talking about my computer, my setup for after one year. Yes, it's been one year since I built my computer. Not exactly one year, because this video was supposed to be made back in February 6th. This is, February 6th was the day I built the computer. I wanted to do this video on February 6th, then I got a little lazy, I got to uh, just procrastinate and all that, and I just kind of forgot about the video. Besides, the first attempt of the video wasn't even that good. So today, I'll be explaining everything. What was the motivation? Why did I want to build a computer? What did I have planned? Oh yeah, and most importantly, what did I even learn from this? What were the mistakes I've made? So it all started in the middle of nowhere, in the desert, you know? No, it didn't start in the desert. It was uh, in my freaking living room. Okay, I found the HP Pavilion Slimline. You know, it was abandoned for a year. It hasn't been used, never been touched, nothing. Why has it never been touched? It's because uh, my brother got an all-in-one PC. And, you know, it was not that good, but I mean, it was still better than the Slimline. But, um, yeah, I pulled out the HP Pavilion Slimline and I started using it. And I realized, you know, this thing is way worse than my brother's computer. You know, I always talk shit about his computer, but the truth is the Slimline was way worse. And the all-in-one was actually like a, a big upgrade. But, you know, it just wasn't good enough for me. And I wanted, I always wanted to be a PC gamer, run games at high setting, highest settings. And, you know, I thought of the idea of turning it into a gaming PC. And, you know, at first, you know, I didn't think it would, at first I thought it was going to be so simple, you know. Then I do a lot of research on it. You know, there's a lot of limitations, a lot of things I've learned. You know, you got to learn a lot of stuff before you start doing stuff, because otherwise you're just going to, it's just going to be a disaster. But, um, you know, I've done a lot of research about it and uh, you know this is a pretty small case you know it's a small form factor case it has like a micro atx motherboard a tfx power supply and a and you can fit like a you can only fit like a low profile graphics card in it you know and the most powerful low profile graphics card you could possibly get is a gtx 1650 as of right now as far as i know okay that's the that's just the lowest the highest you can go in the smallest sized form factor or whatever the hell. Unless if you wanted to do some crazy shit like cut a big hole in like sideways on the computer and have a vertical GPU full size. I don't know. It's fucking insane. A lot of you guys come up with all these crazy ideas. You destroy the case just to fit like a big graphics card in. And I've, you know, I've tried to see other people do it because I really wanted to know, like, what it would look like, you know? You know I didn't want to do it myself and then immediately regret it, you know? I need to know if if this is the best thing I could do because this was going to be my main gaming PC, a sleeper PC as a main PC, which I really don't recommend you do that, okay? I'm just saying, like, you know, maybe it will work, you know, just as you expected it to work, but bro, just don't try it, okay? If this is your first gaming PC, don't do it. After a lot of research going into this, I found about four people who've done, um, who have at least made somewhat of an upgrade to, um, this computer, this HP Pavilion Slimline. There's, like, I believe six different variants of the S5000, which was the model that I have. I have 5747, but there's other ones that have, like, um, different motherboards, you know, for Intel and AMD and, you know, certain, like, RAM limitations. Like, my motherboard had, like, a 4 gigabyte RAM limit. Yeah, that, that sucks. You can't even upgrade the fucking RAM, bro. That's horrible. But, yeah, it had a 4 gigabyte RAM limit which is unfortunate. The first guy I've seen, he put a GT1030 in there, you know. You could easily find a low profile GT1030 and it's, you know, it's it's a great graphics card to start on, better than the graphics card I started on. I mean, the better than the graphics card I still have right now. But yeah, um he had a a GT1030 and uh, I think he upgraded the RAM and the power supply. He upgraded the RAM to like 8 gigabytes of RAM. And um, the power supply to 400, 300, I don't remember. I don't remember, but I know he upgraded the power supply, the RAM, and maybe even the hard drive as well. I don't know. He made as many upgrades as he can. So, um, yeah, you know, it ran good. You know, it, it ran GTA 5 perfect, you know? And I was like, yo, no freaking way. I could just I could just put a GT 1030 and I'll be set. No, okay. The, the 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 thing is the thing I didn't understand was his 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 motherboard was way different than I thought it was you know it wasn't like I thought it was you know I thought you know I thought everyone had the same motherboard but no there's 
different motherboards with certain RAM limitations. Some of them have DDR2 RAM slots and some of them have DDR3, which is strange. The same series as S5000, they, they, there's either, you either have DDR2 RAM or DDR3 RAM. Those were just the two ones. And also you either have an AMD processor or an Intel processor. I had an AMD processor and DDR2 RAM and a four gigabyte RAM limit. Some of them don't, some of them go up to eight from what I know. So yeah. And then the second one I found, he just um cut a big hole in the freaking case and put a full size GTX 1050 Ti in there. And the funny thing is there's literally a low profile version of the GTX 1050 Ti, which I don't, I mean, why would you, why would you do that? You cut a big hole in your case for no reason other than that, you know, it runs good. A 1050 Ti is a pretty good graphics card option. Like, if you want to get a 1050 Ti for, like, a low-profile case, don't cut a hole in it. Just get a low-profile. Like, come on, bro. That that bothered the hell out of me, but, you know, it works. It works. I mean, it worked for him. The third guy, which actually had a GTX 1650 in it, the low-profile variant, of course, well, there was the build that made me realize that I just didn't want to do it. After seeing his video, I realized I don't want to do this. It's not going to work. It's just it's just so many limitations. I can't freaking Okay, the graphics card, if you look at the video, the graphics card was like so freaking low. It was like a centimeter away from the power supply. It will it can barely even breathe, okay? From what I, from what I was thinking, uh, it, it would probably get like extremely hot and I'm probably right about that. His solution to that was to like uh, put two fans next to the graphics card. Which I don't know if that actually fixed this problem. It just, it just doesn't look good, you know? The cable management is bad, but I really can't blame him for that because I mean, it's a slim light, bro. It's a small case. You can't really cable manage in a case like that. Not properly, at least. It's just impossible. And the fourth and final one, and actually the best one I've seen, was um, this one guy made an absolute banger PC, you know? He had, you know, a GTX 1650, Ryzen 5 3600. And what he did was, about the, the graphics card problem, being so close to the power supply, he actually gutted the original power supply. And he put like a, I think it was an F SFX power supply, like where like next to the, where the hard drive would go. So yeah, you know, he had like a different power supply. It was a 450 watt power supply placed where, you know, that fan would go. And you know, it looks awesome. It is, the cable management is just so clean, you know, it's perfect. This is the best build I've seen out of all the four, out of all the four I've seen. This one was just the best one. But, you know, it still didn't convince me. I still didn't want to do this as my first PC build. I still want to do it, but I can't. I just don't want to do it. I just, it doesn't seem like, it didn't seem like a good idea to do a sleeper build as my first PC. So, then we get on to building my first PC for real. Okay, so the actual PC building getting ready process starts in um, December 26, 2020. That was the exact day when I bought the case. And it was only the case because I couldn't afford everything else. I was like, you know, I could easily save up for everything else, you know. 1660 Ti, AMD Ryzen 5, 3600, 16 gigabytes DDR4, nothing to, no, I couldn't do that. So after some time, I was just like, you know what, maybe I should just take the parts out of my old computer and just put it in there and get a new power supply. 600 watt, and I got a 600 watt power supply, and I took the parts out of the slim line, and I had a graphics card as well, it was a G... GT 730. It was, it's horrible. I still use that graphics card to this day. That's the only original part that's still in the computer. So, um, yeah, I put the graphics card in, you know, even though I don't like it, it's still better than the integrated graphics. Far better, actually. It was a pretty good upgrade, you know. And then I, um, decided, you know what, maybe I should upgrade my CPU, because GTA 5 is just not running good enough. I upgraded to a quad-core processor, but it was like a AMD Phenom, um, X4805 from what I remember. Yeah, something like that. It was a four core CPU. I thought it was gonna solve all my problems. Only it turns out, it turns out it didn't. The problem was not only that, but it was also the fact that I have four gigabytes of RAM and I can only fit four gigabytes of RAM in total. Like I cannot fit any more RAM even if I wanted to. So um, basically I was just, I couldn't do nothing about it until I found a motherboard from my brother that he had. He got the motherboard, but never used it because he was given DDR4 RAM. Um, he did have DDR3 RAM for another computer, but that was later on, way after he built his computer and it was ready to, way, way after it was ready to go. Uh, I took the eight gigabytes of RAM, 
It's DDR3 RAM. The motherboard had a, a, an eight core processor and it was awesome. And I still have it today. And it's it's great. Even though it's 10 year old garbage, it's still really great. It's actually really good, but I'm still gonna upgrade it eventually. But uh, let's talk about what happened. About six days later, I realized, well, after putting the new motherboard in, I, real, my, I realized my power supply died. Power supply died and I was just so mad. It was just horrible. I spent the entire spring break trying to figure out why my computer wasn't working and it and I finally found out it was a power supply and I just gave up. That was a that was like I paid seventy dollars for that and it just fucking died, man. What the hell? About a month later, yes, a month without a computer. Sad, unfortunate. I know it's it's horrible, but I lived through it. Okay. Uh I my mom agrees to buy me a new power supply and you know, it's a seven hundred and fifty watt and it's semi modular. So it's actually a really good upgrade and matter of fact it came with the power supply tester as well which i wasn't expecting even though i know normally i would know everything i'm getting before i get it but this time there's some stuff i wasn't expecting to find in there it came with a power supply tester so that you know i can verify whether the power supply is alive or dead it's alive a week later my ram one of my ram sticks dies so you know it was just not working uh, i had uh, uh only like one stick of RAM, which is four gigabytes, was just dying. I was able to get new RAM. I bought and I actually upgraded the 16 gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of RAM, one stick, instead of four gigabytes of RAM, one stick. But I got another stick. Don't think I'm not gonna forget dual channel. That's important. My mom bought the other one, and um, you know, in total, it was 16 gigabytes of RAM. It costed more than some DDR4 RAM. At the same amount of RAM, 16 gigabytes of RAM, two sticks of eight. There, I've seen DDR4 RAM with that amount and way faster at a lower price, which it's just not a good deal, but I mean, it still saved my computer. I wanted to get a new SSD and then the Samsung 870 Evo just happened to be on sale and I had to jump at that chance. It was around my birthday, I got paid like, what, $80? And you know, I just had to get it, okay? It was perfect, but it didn't solve all my problems. It was December 6, 2021, which I made a video about it, but my power supply died. My second one, which is unfortunate. Why? Why did this happen? I got a new one like five days later, which is better than waiting an entire month. It's not that I couldn't afford it. It's just that I just lost all hope the last time, and I was just... It was just horrible, you know? Something I created like a month ago just fell off hard in such a short amount of time. But this one, it lasted me like eight months long. I got a new power supply, my third one. Should not be having that many power supplies for a single computer, god damn, bro. How does that even happen and why does it happen? <laughs> I seriously wanna know. Um, Christmas did come around and I got almost $100. I think it was about $95, I don't know. I wouldn't say exactly 100, but it was pretty high up there. And I, you know, I wanted to get a graphics card. So I found a GTX 760 and why a 760? It's such an old card. I know, <laughs> you know, it performs exactly how I would expect it, you know, but the thing is uh, that thing, even though it's old, you know, it's still, it still takes up a lot of, it uses up a lot of power, you know, 170 Watts of power. I didn't think much of that, but, and I don't know if that was the reason why it didn't go so well. When I got the graphics card, I put it in the computer and it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work at all. And I didn't buy a not, or four, I didn't buy a four parts are not working. It said used. And used, you know, it means it's just, it has a little bit of wear, a cosmetic wear, you know, and it's, but it's still fully functional, you know, performs games just like way expected. But, um, it was dead. It didn't work. I was forced to use my GT730 for the rest of my life. I recently, I made a video about this as well. I upgraded my hard drive to two terabytes. Not only did I upgraded to two terabytes, but I also upgraded to a faster speed. So yeah, it's a faster, way better, newer, more storage hard drive. And that was the last upgrade. Future upgrades I plan on doing is uh, maybe finally getting a 1650, which I wanted to do for a really long time after that. Yeah, it's a graphics card. It's the first thing I want to get. After that, I want to get a new um, new motherboard, new RAM, new CPU. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.